Michael. Podcast. Bring it, friends. When you're homeless, you have to worry about three things. You have to worry about where you sleep, what you get to eat, making sure nobody nobody stabs you. And I was like, that sounds really shitty. And he yeah. goes, yeah, but when you're not homeless, you have to worry about the mortgage, the kids, paying the bills, <laughs> the insurance, and this. And he went on a rant for like a minute. And I stood there and I was like, for a minute, I was like, yeah, fuck this. But again, it's it's just uh, that's why I was asking those. I just wanted your opinion on that. But, but I, I and I also I've learned over the years, anecdotally and experientially, that when you when you use when we, when we talk about homeless and they call it something else now, it's a uh, person without an address or something. You know, there's all mm-hmm. these new definitions. Residentally, for want, residentially you know, challenged, I think. Yeah. It- so. But there are different levels of homelessness. I mean, you know, we had one of the largest veteran homeless population in San Diego. And finally, about eight years ago, they started doing something about it. And the vet homeless population has started to decrease for the first time ever. So there are ways to help fix it. And, you know, I would be willing to bet that, you know, we and we have probably north of 7,000 homeless people because we only have about 2,500 shelter beds. So, uh, that the other four or 5,000 every night have to find their way somewhere. You know, they have these count and times they do to allow you to submit to HUD to get reimbursed federally to help cover the overhead. Mm-hmm. I'd be willing to bet that half the homeless people, the people we call homeless today, disenfranchised communities, throwaways, whatever you want to call them, are able-bodied and more than likely given the right tools, the right support, we get jump started and move into pass of self-sufficiency then we can take the rest of the resources that they're not using and really help those who are behind the eight ball you know multiple Mm -hmm. mental health issues fully deranged largely impaired have untreated trauma highly addicted mental Mm -hmm. health issues co-occurring issues and we could use that money to help put them into the right kind of support mechanism on a continuum of care we actually have a thing it's called project 25 I was on the board years ago and we did it for three years and it worked. 